Hello YouTube. Got a couple highly detailed cars I got in the mail today. First up, take a look at this Nissan Fair Lady 240Z. I already peeked at this. I peeked at it a few more times because I couldn't quit staring at it. Kind of like a beige or off white. One screw holds it to the base. And it does have suspension. So that's pretty cool. The detail on this car. Absolutely amazing. Just might be one of the best 240Z castings and 164th. Has a really nice stance. Got nice lens tail lights. Gas filler, pretty detailed interior, a little side skirts or whatever you would call them. It's a Konami, has a plastic base, rubber tires, and an exhaust pipe. part of the molding on the base but it is uh, they did paint it and detail it and even the air vents on the by the windshield are highly detailed has a highly detailed interior not detailed Painted details or nothing like that, just sculpted details. Really awesome to add that premium 240Z casting to the collection. In a future video, I'll get out the green light and compare it. I do have a Hot Wheels sitting right here. It's just in comparison, it's quite a bit smaller than the Hot Wheels. Quite a bit. Of course, the Hot Wheels has a fin. And a, uh, the front's pretty similar. Bigger fender flares. Definitely bigger fender flares. But rolls real nice. I think pretty much most Konami's that have suspension are going to roll pretty nice. So. Really happy to add that to the detail car collection. Next is a Ferrari. It's labeled SA Red. It's a Kyosho Ferrari model kit. I think it's a 599 GTO, but it... Oh, it's a SA... A Parta or whatever? I don't know. I can't pronounce that name. I'll just murder it if I try. Now, this is the first Kyosho Ferrari I got. I've never got one I had to put together. Like all Kyoshos. This has directions. Usually it has a picture of the three color variations. And yes. Of course. It's burgundy. What other color would I make my first Ferrari? Besides a burgundy one. Alright. It's not screwed down to the base or nothing. 
that's just sitting on it. Comes with these little teeny tiny screwdrivers. I probably should have put this together beforehand, but I don't think it's too, too hard. Anything gives me trouble. All right, this is labeled front or skinnier. Really nice metal rims, though. Oh, they might... Might be plastic. They sure feel like they're some kind of metal. Tire goes right on it. You know these for the front because it was labeled. But assuming this is a front, drop right down in there. Put the back on. Now with the 7-Eleven Hyper cars that I bought that I had to put together like this, the hardest part of putting them together, every one of them, the steering wheel was a separate piece. And to get the little steering wheel to snap down in there was the hardest part of putting them model kits together. Really sticky rubber tires. They really feel sticky. And then the seats, they go up from the bottom, kind of just drop in, and they should snap in. There we go. They just snapped right in. There it is. Huh. Little tiny bit of rust on that axle. And was in a sealed box and sealed plastic. So that's a little interesting. Looks like like a Hot Wheels the interior holds down the wheels. And this snaps right in place. Two screws. There we go. And then the second one. There it is. Wow, that rolls perfect. What better color could you ask for for a Ferrari than a burgundy? My first Kyosho Ferrari. Sure won't be my last. I think I already have a few more on their way. The detail on this. Got lensed headlights. Lens tail lights. Really teeny tiny Ferrari symbol. And it says something on the fin. I don't know if we'll be able to make that out or not. My camera don't want to focus on it. It's so small. Unreal how you can get printed detail that small. The paint on this is amazing. Mirrors feel like they might be part of the casting. Awesome prototypical wheels. Just an amazing die cast car. Really happy to add it to the premium car collection. Thank Champion DJK 
and heavy metal for getting me into uh, all these premium car brands. Of course, Auto Rolled has always been my favorite, and the American Muscle Cars have always been my favorite, and of course they were the first ones I started collecting. So you just can't beat these premium detail cars. I can't get over them. Never picked yourself up a Kyosho or a Konami. Treat yourself. Treat yourself to one. Search eBay. Get one. Call myself the Hot Wheels Hunter. It should be the Diecast Hunter now because it's really changed. But to me, it don't matter if you're out in the stores hunting or if you're hunting the local flea markets or if you're uh, hunting the local uh, hot spot or hunting at uh, on eBay or the internet or Instagram or Facebook. Whenever you're going after uh, die cast, I consider that hunting. So enjoy the hunt. Don't be afraid to step outside Hot Wheels or Matchbox. Don't be afraid to pick up something else. That Ferrari is absolutely amazing. I'll probably never have the Hot Wheels Ferrari Super. It's one I would love to have. But you know what? That one right there was a absolute fraction of the price probably a tenth of the price or less and I don't see the Hot Wheels being much nicer so thanks for joining me make sure to like and subscribe and please leave comments thank you